Hey there, and welcome to making Luther Beard Twizzler, Paladin of Paladins. Here we've got um, Stern Kestrelman from the Reaper Miniatures range, and I'm going to turn this guy into our Luther. Um, unfortunately, it's the best fit I could find, but his hair's a little bit too long. I think his hair's meant to be a bit shorter, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, not too much work to do on this, I just need to straighten out the sword for one and put on his goatee beard and mustachio of the beard twizzler name um, which I'm just using a tiny bit of green stuff for so I'm just going to crack on I'll get that all done and I'll be back with you in a minute. So there you have it, sword is straightened, goatee is in place uh, it didn't take too much, the straighten of the sword was um, uh, um, uh, kind of a nuisance. Um, I half thought about taking pliers to it, but then I realised if you put pliers to it, you put crimp marks in it. So it was just a case of flexing and straightening and flexing and carefully flexing and straightening using the warmth from my hands. I have quite warm hands. If you don't, um, I advise maybe putting the miniature into hot water for like 10 minutes or so. Like pour it, put it in boiling water, let the boiling water like cool down for 10 minutes so it's not boiling anymore, hoik it out so the metal's been warmed through and carefully slowly bend it. Problem with white metal like this, and this is a white metal mini, um, is that if it starts to tear it'll shear right through very very quickly and very easily and it's not like lead where it's like there's a lot of flex and it's quite easy. Lead by the way is what old school miniatures used to be made out of back before like laws were put in because lead's toxic as hell. I still have an awful lot of lead minis sculling about, but meh. In some respects, I prefer them. I like the weight of them in your hand. Um, that's the one thing that I do miss about the old sort of lead metal miniatures, but that's that's by the by. Uh, the other thing is, is goatee, which, as you can see, is a mighty fine goatee with twist up ends to the tashes so that um, he is living up to the name of Beard Twizzler. Um, it's just a tiny, 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 tiny piece of green stuff. Um, I made the moustache first, stuck that into place, cut it away from the mouth, and then I fitted the goatee in place. And I'm feeling that this is quite Beard Twizzler-esque now, as a mini, which is what I'm aiming for. Uh, one of the things I'm trying to do in this project is before it's time, and I'm running out of time now, it's only a week away, um, but it doesn't matter, I'll get it all done anyway, no matter what the cost, um, is I want my heroes to actually be able to use minis which resemble their heroes, they're, they're not perfect, they're not like, um, this isn't actually what their heroes look like, if you see what I mean, but at least these miniatures are, once modified, close to... So the last thing I've got to do on this guy is I've just got to clean up all the metal work, so I'll get that done and I'll show you the end result uh, just pointing out where I had to remove stuff so first of all on that note I did have to clean up the sword blade that was probably the where the most of it is but I have noticed a couple of other places there is a cast line running down the sword the second sword I'm quite happy these got two swords as well it took me ages to find someone I just decided to use this guy in the end and it might be that uh, one of his swords in the game gets changed but hmm we'll see uh, so I just need to remove this, um, but other than that there's not a great deal, um, the cast line does run all the way around, it did run along the edge of this sword, all the way around the edge of the sword and down, so uh, as much of a nuisance as it is, it's just stuff that has to be done. So I'm going to clean this up and I'll be back with you in a second. So there we have it, the beard twizzler is complete. And. There was not very much in the way of cleanup. Uh, the mold lines from the casting were absolutely minimal. There wasn't any flash as such, just a slight uh, misalignment in the casting, which leads to just a very fine ridge. Uh, I just used a heavy blade, heavy scalpel blade specifically, so like one of these. Um, this is old and battered, as you can see. Um, and I use this for cleaning up things like this because, to be honest with you, if you use a lighter weight blade, it won't do the job. And if you use something that isn't sort of a craft scalpel type blade, then it just doesn't work. So, as ever, I hope this has been of some use to you, interests you, and that you're making, uh, converting in this case, things to be just how you want them to be. 
So thank you for watching. Have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.